I am a certified sucker for a good deal. And I think this right here, what I'm standing on, is the best deal I've ever heard of in my life. I got a private island for $10. You don't believe me? Watch this epic drone shot. I'm not very good at flying these. Tyler Blanchard is an up and coming creator. Personally, I've loved his work for a while and I've watched his growth, but one video in particular has been bothering me. That video is why this private island is only $10. Now, I don't know about you guys, but the first thing I thought was, wow, I could buy an island for $10 too. So I started to see how I could own an island, or at least part of one, for the small price of $10. What I found out may surprise you. Before we explore the island, I think it's important to note that an island of this size would normally cost tens of thousands of dollars. But because this island is so remote, so barren, and the only place in the world where alligators, saltwater crocodiles, bull sharks, and pythons coexist, it gives you a bit of a deal. If you pretend like none of that exists, it actually just looks like a totally normal island. I started by researching on the same website that can be seen in Tyler's video, privateislandsonline.com. I surfed to the website looking for islands within my budget. The cheapest property I could find was an island parcel going for $34,000 in Belize, Central America on only 0.17 acres of land, which is about the size of a small lot in the suburbs. I did find many islands listed as price upon request, so I figure I'd fill out a form on the website and see if anyone contacts me with information. I also looked at the island specifically shown in Tyler's video, Windermere. Not only were the pictures different, but turns out Windermere is an already developed and very large island that is selling parcels on it that you can own. I also couldn't find any information about dangerous animals living on the island. However, Windermere is off the coast of Florida in the Bahamas, so it is possible there could be alligators, pythons, and sharks. However, considering the island is fully inhabited and developed, I highly doubt it's much different than living in Florida. So I went to Google Maps, and as you can see here, when you type in Windermere Island, it shows up right here in the Bahamas. I'm gonna zoom in, and it's this tiny, tiny little island next to another set of islands right here, Windermere Island. Now, the further you zoom in, you can clearly see there's mansions, tennis courts, roads, clearly electricity because there's swimming pools that are chlorinated, and a lot of land that is not inhabited, but, so this is probably most likely where Tyler Blanchard shot his video, one of these areas down here, possibly one of these areas on the top of the island, but it's pretty clear that this island is inhabited and there is cell phone reception. Uh, so that Fortnite video that he made as an advertisement in the middle of his video clearly fake because he would have been getting cell phone reception and he didn't magically make some sort of cell phone tower in the middle of a deserted island. But I found a free solution. Stringing my iPhone up into a tree and hoping it would get signal. At that point, we'd use the hotspot to power the computer. Power device? Uh, yes. You're wait, 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 wait. Ah, we have Wi-Fi! Are you serious? No way! I can't believe that fucking works! Bro, look at that. Look how ridiculous that looks. What? That's the most ridiculous looking thing I've ever seen. I thought that was really dumb for a second. It took a few days for the people at privateislands.com to get back to me, but eventually we did set up a date and time for a phone consultation so that I could inquire about purchasing my own island for $10. One of two things was going to happen. Either I was going to come out of this with an awesome island for 10 bucks or nothing. Hey, John, this is Austin. Hey, hi, I'm sorry, I just got the call. Thanks for calling back. Uh, let me just kind of get straight to the point. Um, so I, I would like to own any sort of piece of land on an island. Honestly, you know, deserted is fine. Uh, I see Wind Windermere is not. It's a developed island. Um, but the reason I specifically reached out about that island is because... Um, and this is going to sound a little weird, but there was a guy on YouTube claiming that he purchased uh, a parcel on Windermere for $10, which to me just sounds absolutely ridiculous. Uh, and 
he's advertising, you know, private islands online.com. I mean, I did see some parcels on there for like as low as $15,000 um, on your website. Uh, not on not on, not on oh, it must have been somewhere else. Okay. Not on okay, so that that's a pretty ridiculous claim, right? <laughs> Ten dollars yes. to to own a piece of uh, island. Yeah. My last question is, um, I guess you, since you're saying you're you mainly specialize in the Bahamas, um, and I do sell in Florida. What what's like the the lowest you have available right now? Um, and where would it be? Because I saw something that was like fifteen thousand dollars for a parcel, I guess. Well, we got we got parcels of five thousand dollars. Okay. I mean, it depends where you where you want to go, where they are. Uh, but I would, but yeah, you can get you can get decent. Um, and subdivisions, those are subdivisions. So you can probably be better off buying. Right. Oh, Tyler, what the heck, man? Your video just seems fake. I'm, I'm not sure if you're ever gonna watch this, but if you do, please don't sue me. Uh, to everyone else, please subscribe, comment, like, whatever it is you do. It's free. Uh, it really helps me out so that I can be like some of my favorite YouTubers one day. Thanks, guys. Bye.